This is the final video in my series on panic attacks. If you haven't seen all the others, click on the link at the top of the screen to be taken to the first one. Hopefully you have watched all the other videos, so you should now have most of the knowledge you need to stop panic attacks. But now I'm going to show you how to use that knowledge, and there will also be some bonus tips at the end. But first, a quick recap. You have learned that a lot of the symptoms that you worry about can be explained by the effect of your amygdala launching your body into fight or flight mode. You have learned that safety behaviours make your hippocampus associate everyday situations with danger, which primes your amygdala to be constantly ready to go into a panic attack. You have learned a tool to deal with negative thoughts that drive these safety behaviours. You have learned how behavioural experiments can challenge the beliefs that drive the negative thoughts and safety behaviours. You have learned how gradual desensitisation can retrain your hippocampus so that it does not associate everyday places and situations with danger, so it will not trigger panic attacks. Now it's time to put all this together in a systematic way. Start with your safety behaviour list and your desensitisation list. Then make a progress chart that looks something like this. Each month, write down how many safety behaviours you have given up and how many items on your desensitisation list you have managed. Remember, it should only be one or two a month at the most. Put this list somewhere you will see it every day. Go back to these videos as many times as you need. If you are struggling with negative thoughts, view video 6 again and do the thoughts on trial exercise. Bookmark the neutralising the panic attack video on your phone, so if you start feeling panicky when out desensitising, you can use the video to remind yourself what to do to shorten and lessen the intensity of the panic attack. Retraining an anxious brain is not easy, but if you use what you have learnt in these videos, over the next months or years you can raise your panic threshold and reduce the chances of having panic attacks. If you carry on with safety behaviours and avoidance, you will continue to have lots of panic attacks and find your life very restricted by panic disorder. Now some final tips. If you are on medication, do not stop taking medication during this process. Changes or interruptions in medication can make anxiety sore, which will make this process even more difficult. If you are able to reach a stage where the panic attacks have stopped or are rare, only then talk to your doctor about tapering off medication. Also, beware distractions. You will see all sorts of pills, potions, diets, supplements and alternative therapies claiming they can stop your panic attacks instantly. These are usually recommended by the people selling them. I'm not saying that other approaches like diet or supplements will not help some people, but if there was an easy cure, then no one would have panic attacks. But if you look for evidence that CBT is effective in places like the National Institutes of Health in America or the National Institute of Clinical Excellence in the UK, you will find lots of independent scientific evidence that it has a very high success rate. But there are two reasons why not everyone with anxiety is using CBT. One is that many people cannot afford a course of CBT, and the waiting lists are long in countries with free healthcare. Hopefully, my video series will go some way to solving this problem. The second reason is that CBT is hard. I have tried to give you all the advice I can about motivation and dealing with setbacks, but only you can make the changes that will reduce or eliminate your panic attacks. So instead of wishing you luck, I'm going to wish you strength, determination, patience and success in your CBT journey. Finally, I have spent many hours making these videos and my only motivation is helping people who need it. So please give my videos a like so YouTube will show it to others who are struggling with panic attacks.